Hi everyone, welcome to this series uh, Healthcare Domain Knowledge. So here uh, we will be learning basic workflow of uh, health system and uh, common terminologies and also I will be uh, taking you through a lot of terminologies and uh, advanced version how to understand this. See uh, why this health domain, healthcare domain is very important is uh, we have a lot of opportunities. Uh, you may be a developer or you may be a technical analyst or business analyst or architect or you may be a quality assurance engineer. So this uh, healthcare domain knowledge will help you to grow and uh, get more opportunities in the market. Healthcare domain knowledge will give you more weightage to your profile. Uh, if you are having a healthcare knowledge, definitely like you know, uh, it will be easy for you to like you know, get into any role. Uh, like you no know, uh, play any kind of jobs along with that you may require uh, some more technical knowledge uh, like everyone will have that but uh, domain knowledge is plays a uh, very uh, vital role here in usa uh, health policy plays a very vital role in uh, every individual for every individuals because uh, healthcare is very costly uh, in United States, so every individuals and most of the individuals will have health insurance policies and also government also will cover uh, uh, these health policies if you are working for government or if you are retired or if you are poor uh, for each and every individuals, uh, uh, government will be covered uh, these health plans and uh, if someone like you know, traveled from some other country and working for some other organization, they will be also covered under uh, company policies. So uh, all this we will be discussing in detail. The basic terminology if you look here, uh, any patient, the general way when we talk, uh, he goes to hospital, if he is having a health insurance policy, he will go and show that a health insurance card or policy to the hospital people and uh, like he will get treatment and he will get discharged like no uh, this is how the process happens if you look into the uh, healthcare policy in USA also the same way the patient visits a doctor or a clinic or for any sp specialist and uh, he has to pay some amount that will call it as a copay amount uh, based on the uh, the plan to plan the benefit plan to plan it will change uh, like no there will be some benefit plan which we have to pay more premium uh, those benefit plan will have like you no know, lesser copay or uh, uh, that that depends like you no know, in further sessions we will be discussing more and more about this and you will be having like you no know, more understanding and copay detectable uh, all these terminologies so once patient go to hospital he visit to hospital he will take treatment and he will pay the the copay amount he will return back so as soon as he return back the hospital people before that what hospital people will do is uh, as soon as patient comes so they will check the eligibility of the patient this is the like no first step so they will check the eligibility of the patients whether that patient is eligible for how much dollars and uh, uh, what is his uh, like you no know, benefit plan says benefit plan like you no know, all the details uh, he they will check and like you know after that they will start the treatment it won't take much time uh, just like you no know, in fraction of minutes itself like you know, they will do that and uh, they will give treatment and like you no know, they will take the uh, copay amount and they will send him back so after that the hospital people hospital billing department will submit the claims to the uh, insurance company so if you look at here uh, the insurance company they are submitting the claims after submitting this insurance uh, uh, claims to the uh, primary insurance so what what will happen is uh, they will do the analysis and uh, uh, they will settle that amount to the they will pay that amount to the hospitals or the uh, provider whoever like you know given the service to the uh, patients so uh, after that, after that, what they do is like, you no know, primary insurance people, they, they send EOB explanation of benefit. So you will be getting all this detailed information in further videos. So uh, explanation of benefit to the patient. And if there is any difference amount, if there is any like, you no know, amount uh, which cannot uh, like, you no know, climb under that benefit plan, under that claim. So that like, you no, know, they will ask patient to pay that amount back to uh, insurance company. And they will be sending this EOB uh, to both hospital as well as patient. And here, if you look into the like, you know, uh, uh, the uh, insurance policies will be having a different. So uh, sometimes like we will be coming under a secondary insurance uh, policy and uh, uh, all these things. So uh, when it comes like, you know, primary insurance and secondary insurance is 
so for example wife and husband is working for a different organizations uh, a wife is working for uh, ibm and uh, uh, husband is uh, working for uh, apple company so uh, the employer is covered like you no know, two different policies that is like they will be giving for uh, dependents as well so uh, so if they are having a, uh, kids if they are having kids so they will be covered under both the policies so uh, one side like you no know, ibm is covering uh, all the people as well as uh, apple is also covering all the people so uh, when we are sending the claim where, so for example the dependent the kid has uh, uh, joined the hospital now they have to uh, submit a uh, form so uh, they have to like you know, they can choose uh, which one is of uh, uh, like you no know, primary insurer and uh, which one is a secondary insurance so based on that the uh, hospital people is going to send the claim to the uh, uh, like no primary insurance if they select uh, ibm as a primary ibm insurance company as like no uh, primary then they are going to send the, to that uh, respective insurance company uh, to the complete claim and if they uh, consider like no apple as a like no their uh, uh, primary company then they will they are going to consider like no uh, the apple relevant uh, insurance company as a primary company this is how like no primary and the secondary will come to the picture so the uh, the uh, process will remain same uh, maybe uh, how the companies is going to provide what kind of a benefit plan and uh, what kind of uh, like you know benefits they are going to provide depends on that like you know they have to pay the copay amount and uh, uh, they will they can get the service so uh here like you know uh, the employers uh, will have like you no know, different kind of policies and uh, government will cover like you no know, different kind of policies all these things uh, uh, will be will be covered like you no know, in advanced uh, sessions so if you look at like you no know, uh, in detail here uh, the parties or entities who are like you no know, participate in this healthcare network we have like you no know, facilities and laboratories insurance companies third party admins providers patients pharmacies uh, employers clearing houses and banks government so all these parties will be included in this healthcare network we will be uh, discussing in detail uh, like you no know, all these uh, factors like you no know, in detail how this uh, uh, healthcare forms or claims transformed from one place to another place how it is getting approved and how, what is the uh what is the point of having this uh, insurance company uh, and clearing houses and banks uh, all these things like you know, we will be discussing and also each and every uh, disease we will be having a codes that we will cover it as a icd codes that also we will be covering uh, in further videos so if you look into the enrollment by segments so uh, if you look into the enrollment by segments in the sense like you know, we will be having a different different segments of uh, insurance policies that may be like you know, uh, individuals if you look into individuals if you go and buy an uh, insurance policy uh, by yourself uh, like you no know, uh, private uh, policy then you, it will it will be a, like you no know, considered as a individual policy that is like you no know, private policy so uh, how other countries will have along with the uh, employer policy you can even go and buy a, a external policy uh, like you no know, so for example like you know, if you think that uh, the amount what uh, company is providing under uh, insurance policy not uh, like you no know, eligible not uh, enough for you then definitely you can go ahead and buy a private insurance that will count as a individual insurance and uh, the employer group risk uh, fehbp this is like you no know, uh, government employees like you know, covered under this and uh, employer group a so this is also a government uh, provided a service government provided employer uh, benefit plan kind of thing and uh, medicare and medicare also uh, federal government will provide uh, this kind this kind of like you know, services to the people if any individuals uh, wanted to keep their uh, benefit plan or uh, uh, policy is active they have to pay the premium so for example like you know, if individual uh, purchased a policy Uh, then he has to pay the uh, premium or like you no know, if someone is like you no know, working for x company that company has to pay a uh, premium to the insurance company so that like you no know, the insurance policy will be keep active so for example if uh, someone like you no know, exit from the organization or uh, if someone exit from xyz company then definitely like you know, that uh, uh, policy will get and and he will go and join somewhere else and uh, he will get policy over there so that's how like you no know, uh, this will work if a premium amount is not getting paid uh, then definitely uh, that uh, policy will end he will not have eligibility as soon as he visit hospital they will check the eligibility 
uh, eligibility of that like no patient and if you don't have eligibility then they will ask them to pay the complete amount uh, in united states uh, the hospitality uh, cost is very huge so each and every individuals will have their uh, uh, policies uh, along with that like you know they will be having a deductible and co-pay co-insurance so all these terminologies we will be learning in advance uh, for now like you no know, if you look into a deductible a deductible amount is something uh, which is paid by a patient so for example a deductible amount is at $2000 so uh, for a, uh, insurance or like you know, for a benefit plan uh, the deductible amount is at $2000 so whenever like you know, up to $2000 so uh, you will be paying from your pocket you will be paying from your pocket and uh, you will be getting uh, uh, all the benefits uh, whatever like you know, if you are going in a hospital and uh, getting a treatment so you will be paying up to uh, $2000 after $2000 so the rest of amount uh, uh, company will be paying coming in the sense like an insurance company will be paying the rest of the amount whatever insurance company is paying in that you have to pay the copay amount all these terminologies we will be discussing like you no know, detailed manner uh, step by step and also i will be showing you like you know all the uh, numbers how this works uh, in uh, further videos thank you for watching this video for more and more videos healthcare domain knowledge please do subscribe our channel thank you